Time for you to go be slow. King of the jungle, cause you're in an MO. Time for you to go overload. Eat your competition and laugh, cause you're in an MO. What's my competition? Only me. Go head to head with my enemies and smash in the smithereens. Calisthenics burning calories. Bring that fire ready to blow up. Now we're the kerosene. You're a fighter, you're a fighter. Never gonna give up, never gonna die. Welcome into our very special holiday edition of Beyond the Blitz. No offense to Thanksgiving, it's a lovely holiday and we're all very thankful for all of you out there in THV 11 land. We're skipping right to December, right to the good stuff and say with high school football. Yeah, good stuff. Turkey, high school football, it's all here and we've got a good one for you as well. If you're up early this morning, good morning. And we've got a rematch of the 4A state title game of last year. Malvern going up against Harding Academy. Always love a rematch for you. A playoff edition. All right. Starting off, we've got Malvern quarterback Bishop Allen sends it way up to Dylene Cardine. That makes it 10 to 7. Harding still leads, but the Leopards get on the board. Heading over to the second quarter now. Harding's Owen oh, Miller. He can do a lot. You'll see in just a second. The thing is up, but he's got no. He's like, no way. He breaks that thing up on third down. And then here he is playing quarterback. Miller gets it to Kyler Hoover. And that is a first down for the Harding Academy Wildcats. And then Hogs come in. Wyatt Simmons punches this one in for two yards. And Harding leads 17 to 7 with 539 and a half, but then Malvern's first play on that next drive. Jalen Dupree breaks a 69 yard touchdown run. He's like, I'm sorry, you guys. Like, I'm just too fast for you. <laughs> He's pretty good. He's a Colorado State commit. That makes it 17 to 14. Malvern down by three. This time it's Trenton Hall from Harding, though, that punches it in and extends the Wildcat lead to 24 to 14. Allen now gets it to Cardine. Look at, he throws the thing so high. First down, almost in there. But Dupree would end that drive up. Scores to make it 24-21. Harding still leading 25 seconds in the half, but Harding Academy in the second half would just explode and take this one at 58-34 to over Malvern, tanking down the, the state champions. All right, so we'll have a new state champ in the 4A. How about in the 5A? Reigning title, Parkview playing host to Mills last night. And this one was a game a lot of people thought could have been a state title game and said, we get it in the second round. Here come the Comets, looking to be the first 5A team to unseat Parkview uh, since Parkview went to the 5A last year. But look at that, Eric McGee, so shifty he even fools the handsomest of cameramen, tumbles into the end zone for the touchdown. It's seven nothing Patriots. And then Achilles Ringo, so good all year for the Comets at quarterback, but Parkview just might be his Achilles heel. The defense swarming there in his face instantly for the sack. And then next play, Ringo looking deep, but Ramsey Cummings comes down with the interception. He's up the sideline for a nice return. Patriots look like they're in business, but here comes the Mills defense. Comets are gonna get this one right back. McGee pump fakes, throws it right into the waiting arms of Miles Caster for the interception. And Mills with a chance, down just seven, nothing to mighty Parkview, but offense can't get anything going. Patriots bring down Ringo again for another sack. And Parkview finally gonna get that run game going behind Montario Elston. He breaks through the line, spins one defender off him, finally taken down out of bounds. Then why not just keep feeding him next play? Elston, patient, patient, finds his hole, makes one man miss, makes the last guy miss, and then outruns everyone else for the touchdown. It's 14-0 Parkview. Now, let's check out a punt return. Why not? You got O'Marion Robinson back there. You should probably just kick this ball out of bounds if you see that number two waiting. Instead, he picks this one up off the ground, takes it almost all the way, finally dragged down inside the five yard line by a swarm of Comets. It doesn't really matter too much though. One play later, Kobe Davis takes it in for the touchdown and Little Rock Parkview goes on to win 35 to six. The defending state champs still alive in the 5A. 
All right, speaking of defending state champs, but this time in the 7A, we've got the Bryant Hornets taking on the Rogers Mounties. Opening drive for the Mounties, fake punt kicker JT Miller throws it to Broxton Lindsay, and that's a first down and lots more. Forced to settle for a field goal attempt though. It's good and it's three to nothing Mountaineers. This time Hornets James Martin takes a big hit, but he's like, don't worry guys, I'm fine, I'm fine. Look at him, he, he, lifts, he lifts weights pretty well. And he breaks three takes at home, it's seven to three. Hornets, this time it's Mounties Isaac Chapman. Uh, he coughs that one up and it's recovered by the Hornets. Now Jordan Walker from Bryant sends this one way out to his guy Carter Ratliff. Look at that catch over the defender's head. That makes it 14 to three Hornets. This time the Hornets defense doing some work too. Brendan Bennett intercepts that one and makes it to midfield. This time third and long. Walker gets it to Mytorian Singleton for the first down and Walker again. He finds his partner, howdy partner, to Singleton. Again, this time a touchdown, 21 to three. Hornets, Bryant wins this one, 56-32 over Rogers. A big shout out to everyone who streams games around the state of Arkansas. We see you, we love you. You help us get some highlights on the air. Here in the two way, Hector and Carlisle were tied in the fourth until Holden Jones scores the go ahead touchdown and the Carlisle Bison. Hang on to win. They advance in the 2A. Up to the 4A now. CAC and Nashville. Check that out. Razorback commit Grayson Wilson. An absolute dime of a touchdown pass as CAC pulls away to win. They're going to head to their first quarterfinal round since 2015. All right. On to Warren now. Boxite Miners trail by seven. Under two minutes to play. Boxite, though, looking to tie the game in the final minutes, but it's intercepted. Traylon Jackson with the pick that seals it for Warren. The Lumberjacks are gonna advance in the 4A state playoffs. And then finally, Pulaski Academy, the 6A defending champs on the ropes, on the road at Marion though. Down six with four minutes to go. A little reverse to Andrew Pfizer, and he fools the whole defense. He's gone. PA on top, 21 to 20 with under four to play. Marion would score though, and the Bruins down to their last play. Seconds, the clock down to zero. Down five, but Brandon Cobb to the end zone. And there's Andrew Pfizer for the win. PA pulls off a miracle at Marion with zeros on the clock. And it's Pulaski Academy surviving and advancing to take on Greenwood in the next round.